Hi, I'm Big John here with Backstage 360, right here interviewing Dollskin here at the House of Blues in San Diego. We've got uh, Sydney right here to my left. We've got Nicole playing the bass. We've got Alex playing lead guitar, and then we've got Megan on drums. And Sydney, you're the lead vocalist, but you, you're also playing guitar tonight. Thanks. Do you play on the album? Um, no, we didn't record any parts with uh, my guitar or anything, uh, but after we recorded it, we were like, okay, this needs a second guitar part live, <laughs> um, which is fun. I like playing guitar, so it gave me an excuse to learn guitar. Well, that's cool. I saw you warming up. You look very comfortable on the guitar, and you look like you're ready to go, so that's exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Uh, you're very young, what, 16, 17, 18, 18 17, 17, and 19. So we've got the gamut, 16 and 19 year olds. That's like every year of high school almost covered. Yeah. Did, did you guys start playing together in high school? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, it started um, her junior year of high school. Her, your junior year. So Sydney, you were like, what, in, in eighth grade? Yeah. I think Sydney was in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade. Yeah. You would have been in eighth grade. Yeah, I was in eighth grade. Wow. You were big. I was a child. I'm still a child, but I was a child. So here's here's my favorite question so far for you guys that, that I came up with. Now you're at that age when you started playing, and right now you're still at that age where most girls in rock would have idols. But you guys are on the scene and hitting it hard. You got you met uh, what David Ellison yes. quite early, and then he yeah. introduced you to Alice Cooper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, tell me about yeah. how you got on that Alice Cooper album. Well, those two. Um, Alice lives in Phoenix. And he, uh, he runs the Solid Rock Foundation, which is kind of like an after-school thing where kids, like, if they don't want to go home and they'd rather not go out and do something bad, they go to the School of Rock, hang out, or the Solid Rock, and they hang out. Uh, and he does this proof is, proof is in the Pudding competition every year, and we got on that. And if you get into the finals, you get to record a Christmas song on the Crips Christmas Poof in the Pudding album thing. So how awesome was that for you girls to meet and talk to Alice Cooper? That was it was great. cool. He's such yeah. a such a big guy locally and of course worldwide, but it's just cool that he's in our hometown. So getting attention from him was pretty cool. Yeah. That's badass. So yeah. did you guys actually get to like play with him when you were doing your recording? Actually, what um, we did in School of Rock. Oh, School of Rock. Yeah, yeah. I think we were on a song with him, right? Yeah, so there was uh, a program in house, uh, at School of Rock that's called House Band, which Sydney, Alex, and myself were in, and we played a little, like a few, Alice Cooper songs with him, which yeah. was crazy. It wasn't, was like, on the, uh, it wasn't on that album though, but it was a while ago. God, that yeah, was so yeah. long a long time ago. ago. <laughs> Well, now it seems like a long ago. That was only like three years ago for you girls. Yeah, That's yeah, a long time ago is three years ago. <laughs> yeah, but in three years, I'm sorry, in three years to go from playing as a band in high school to now you're performing in San Diego yeah. and you're on tour with Hell Yeah, a Hell super yeah. group. How does that feel to be on tour with Hell Yeah? Well, we fantastic. Yeah, we've toured with them before and they invited us back for this uh, for the end of their tour. We've done a handful of shows with them before and then they asked us to come back to this. We were actually on tour with OTEP and they wanted us to do longer. Okay, so in three years, you've gone from a rock and or like a punk rock high school band to being asked by hell yeah to tour with them. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like you're my idol, and I'm twice your oh, oldest hi. age. But you, you guys kick ass. And Thank so you. your new album, what's yes. it called? In Your Face Again. It's a re-release of our EP the, In Your yeah. Face, yeah. Uh, hence the again. Perfect. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's our EP with new songs on it. We made it an LP so we could put it in stores and everything. Well, it's badass. I actually streamed it on Spotify earlier, and I know it's available on Amazon for purchase right now. Yeah, and Best Buy Online. And Best Buy Online. iTunes, our website. Google Play. Yeah. What, is, what is your website? Uh, Dollskinband.com. Jinx, you both owe me a code. Right. <laughs> well, I want to break down a little bit of, of some of the songs. Um, one of my favorite songs was Let's Be Honest. So who who wrote the lyrics to that? Okay, that was a collective effort, actually. Never mind. Everyone says it's me, <laughs> but like it's actually, it was actually a collective effort. I don't know. I don't know. Sitting down and like we were all, Megan like probably wrote the bass. I, okay, so what I did was you know, obviously wasn't me. I didn't all, even know like, she sort of, wrote it. You know, thrown out lines and stuff, and then like everyone just like run this with this, and that one was the one that we actually all wrote. Um, I, I do and I cleaned that. it up. Is that, is that where you guys got like the idea for the video, kind of bouncing around? Because I watched the video and you guys like swap around in your guitars and, and control. And everything. Okay, so I guess I guess not. I just helped you just... Yeah, no, we, yeah, now yeah, you can know. say that in future interviews. Yeah. Just well, make sure you say video, Big John, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The music video, we just uh, wanted to show kind of what we do at practice. We just kind of goof around, basically yeah. do whatever we feel like doing because it's fun. Yeah. Um, and music is fun, and so we just have fun with it whenever, especially when we're practicing, we don't really, we sit upside down in chairs and whatever, do whatever yeah. we want. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you could definitely see that in both your videos, and I saw both of those are up on your website. That's where I got to watch them. That's pretty badass. Yeah. Now, your ballad that you have, Blind? Yes. Okay, tell me more about that. What came about that one? I see a story there as well. Yeah, um, I wrote that song for my sister. Uh, she's two, a year and a half younger than me, and as soon as I kind of got over depression and everything, she kind of fell into it, but she kind of hit it really well, and I couldn't tell. And she f fell into being mute. She didn't want to talk anymore because she f thought that everything she said was wrong and would offend someone or anything. And it really kind of upset me. And she was like, I don't want to talk to you. Write me something. She wouldn't talk to me. She would just, oh. I'd ask her something and she'd have to write it down. That explains some more of the lyrics. And, and I love how you turned that into a rock ballad. Like it's, yeah. it's still got a punk feel, but it's a nice, drawn out, very minor ballad. So you, it shows at your young age, your understanding of uh, complex chord structures. And I find that incredibly impressive just as a musician, but as someone as young as you are. So how did you guys get so well versed in, in music and your instruments? We um, have this little nah, nah. secret <laughs> weapon. I, I oh, went to a oh, she's secret. <laughs> I went to a, this Not even amazing, she's amazing, crazy art school and my guitar teacher was just I'm convinced he wasn't human. The guy was just absolutely incredible. And I mean, I don't know. We all try to stay up on theory, especially like on the road. So like, but like Alex literally just knows like, shout out to School of Rock. <laughs> so you guys are learning along with her teaching you. So it's pretty badass. So you get to teach your fellow bandmates how yeah, awesome. Yeah, you, you seem so humbled by that. <laughs> I mean, we, all, we all know it's important to be like, you know, smart with your music. Yeah. It's not all about- Well, that, that's how you get ahead. You gotta understand. Why it sounds exactly you gotta understand like quite literally the theory behind it. Yeah, so. and that's what makes you girls stand out from other girl rockers I've ever, ever female rockers I've ever seen. And I've I've read a bunch of blog posts and other websites that have, that have mentioned that you guys aren't just like any girl rock band at all because you you know what you're doing. Like you put guy but guy musicians to shame. Like seriously, that girl power, that punk rock girl power shines through all lights. So Yay. Um, Yay. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean I'm I'm literally became a huge fan of you guys. So my favorite song though is uh, which one? Hold on, hold on. I have it written down. Oh yeah, the Furious yeah. Fixation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's our newest favorite. I know why it's yeah. your favorite, because you're the drummer. And about halfway in, you just go nuts for the rest of the song. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's that's I like having that freedom. I'm just like, yeah. go at it. That song's so much fun to play. We had a lot of fun writing it, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's my it, favorite song to do live, because I really get the crowd into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you get the, awesome. a lot of, I see the pressure behind it, the push and all that to get people talking. And it's like a solo for each one of you. You yeah. get to show off your individual <laughs> talents. As, as a listener, as a fan, like as a just as a fan of music, being able to see that that song really epitomizes you guys as a band, in my opinion. Awesome, thank you. So, and speaking of that, like uh, you have another song that I consider anthemic, the Family of Strangers. Yeah. That was the first song we ever wrote. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it, it kind of shows that because you kind of guys like get together as kind of an obscure family, yep. and and you, you're like just kind of shoved into this mishmash and you make it work, and yeah. it, it seems like. What yeah, that was, song's about. Yeah, it was actually wrote, she wrote it about um, being at a show and okay. like being a family with all these strangers, you know? Uh, but when you're at a show, everyone protects each other. Like, it, you're, you're there for the same reason and everything. So you it's all kind have of like one thing in common, and yeah. that's that you all want to see the band. And so you're just all yeah. strangers, but you're family for a night. It, yeah. It's interesting, like, especially at punk rock bands, I noticed like the mosh pits. It, it, at punk rock, it's different from the heavy metal yeah. that. Huge. It's a respect thing on, at punk shows. It's yeah. like it's just like that family. And outsiders who don't get to listen to, to punk rock or like listen to a lot of normal rock or AOR or other type of arena stuff like that don't get to see what type of family it is. And that song, I feel like it's kind of like a punk rocker's anthem, even to go tighter, a female punk rocker's anthem. Yeah. Because that, you even mentioned that in, in some of the lines. I, do you guys? Like, kind of travel or hang out with any other female punk rock bands or leads. Yeah, or we try to. I mean, we try to. Yeah, I mean, if we know if we know that a city we're going through has uh, females in it, or if it's got a female lead or anything, we try to get our manager to put them on the bill with us. Um, like, I know when we go to Portland, we're playing with a band called Amelia. Yeah. Okay. It's a two-piece girl metal band, which is amazing, and they're awesome, and I can't wait to play with them. Nice. But uh, yeah, we try to play with as many girl local like. Just any bands that have at least like what Ota did for us. She took us out on tour. Her thing was like she wanted to give a band that hasn't really had a start yet with girls in it, like a leg up. And like even though what we do is like very small, we're still on the bottom 
tier kind of thing, but it's like if we can play with other girls, like we want to. to bottom have tier? Not. There's no way you guys are in the bottom <laughs> tier. You were number one under 21 year old rock bands in Phoenix. Yeah, I did some research. <laughs> You're the number one band, rock band, in Phoenix for under 21 year olds. Oh my God. That's right, a huge did statement. you, did really? you guys when? know that? No, 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 no. When, was, when did I that happen? Like, it happened article. this year. It was like 21 oh, under 21. Yeah. Yeah. I, were we number one? I did not know. Yes, you were number one. Right now, you're number I, two, I think, was oh, it uh, no. Hallocene? Have you ever heard of Hallocene? Yes, we have, yeah. Yeah, they're number I one. Have. You're directly under them huh. and very closely. But at they one point this one. year, you were number one. Really? Yes, and there was an article about it. I saw that. I was like, that's, that's cool. freaking impressive. That is that's cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of press emails, so. Of course, of course. All right, well, it's been such a pleasure talking to you, ladies. I saw you warm up with uh, with one of your songs, and that's going to be a v that's also going to be on the the album. What's it called again? Ring Me Out. No, the, the, the album. Oh, the album. In Your Face Again. In Your Face Again. <laughs> Ring Me Out, though. And we're going to hear that tonight. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you. That's uh, Sydney, Nicole, Alex, and Megan of Dollskin. These guys are up and coming. Watch out for them. They're going to be kicking ass here. I'm Big John on Backstage 360, and thank you for tuning in.